Why are fevers dangerous? Fever is usually an indication of bacterial or viral infection. While there is still debate about whether fevers actually speed up the body's inflammatory response to infection, there appears to be no clinical evidence that reducing fever slows healing. Approximately 4% of children between the ages of 3 months and 5 years experience febrile seizures. It has been commonly thought that high fevers in children could cause denaturation of central nervous proteins. Leading to seizures and possibly brain damage. However, the truth of that theory has not been fully determined. What is the standard procedure for differential centrifugation? Differential centrifugation is a technique commonly used by biochemists. Tissue, such as liver, is homogenized at 32 degrees Fahrenheit 0 degrees Celsius. In a sucrose solution that contains both a buffer to stabilize the pH and a salt. The homogenate is then placed in a centrifuge and spun. At a constant centrifugal force at a constant temperature. After a predetermined amount of time, a sediment forms at the bottom of the centrifuge tube and is covered by an overlying solution called the supernatant. The overlying solution is then placed in another centrifuge tube. The sediment after the first centrifugation is called the nuclear fractions and consists mainly of nuclei, which are the largest and densest organelles present in cells. The supernatant is centrifuged at a higher centrifugal force for a longer period of time. Another group of particles, usually the mitochondria, form the sediment. The process is repeated several times, each time at a higher centrifugal force for longer periods of time. Until the sediment only contains enzymes and other substances not associated with any cell organelles. How do chloroplasts work? Chloroplasts are able to capture solar energy to perform photosynthesis. The reduction of carbon dioxide to simple carbohydrates. This process entails a series of reactions that result in the chemical splitting of water and the release of oxygen into the environment. During the light phase, Chlorophyll molecules absorb energy from light and their electrons become energized. These excited electrons pass energy from one chlorophyll molecule to another. Resulting in the production of ADP and a special nucleic acid type carrier known as NADF. This molecule carries the electrons to the next stage of photosynthesis, the dark phase. The dark reactions manufacture sugars using the energy stored during NADF and ADP. The conversion of carbon dioxide present in the atmosphere into carbon atoms in living organisms is called carbon fixation.
who proposed that the left side of the brain has different functions than the right side of the brain. Roger Sperry, 1913-1994, conducted the pioneering research on the different functions of the left side and right side of the brain. The left side of the brain controls language, logic, and mathematical abilities. In contrast, the right side of the brain is associated with imagination. Spatial perception, artistic and musical abilities, and emotions. Sperry received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1981 for his work. What plants are commonly used in the perfume industry? Perfumes are made of a mixture of a large variety of scents. Although many perfumes are created synthetically, the expensive designer scents still use natural essential oils extracted from plants. The perfume industry uses all parts of the plant to create a unique blend of scents. What is the difference between saturated and unsaturated fat? Fat is a type of lipid molecule constructed by glycerol and three fatty acids. The molecular structure of the fatty acids determines whether the fat is saturated or unsaturated. Fats with hydrogen atoms but without double bonds are saturated. Unsaturated fatty acids have double bonds, and therefore have fewer hydrogen atoms. What is meant by a genetic fingerprint? Just as a real fingerprint is used to identify people individually, a genetic or DNA fingerprint is a unique pattern of DNA sequences for each individual. What are applications of DNA fingerprinting? DNA fingerprinting is used to determine paternity, in forensic crime analysis. In population genetics to analyze variation within populations or ethnic groups, in conservation biology to study the genetic variability of endangered species. To test for the presence of specific pathogens in food sources. To detect genetically modified organisms either within plants or food products, in evolutionary biology to compare DNA extracts from fossils to modern day counterparts, and in the identification of victims of a disaster. What is meant by genetic discrimination? Genetic discrimination refers to the use of genetic information by health insurers and employers to determine eligibility. Set premiums, for health insurance, or hire and fire people. The U.S. Senate passed the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act of 2003 on October 14.
2003 the Act establishes basic legal protections that will prohibit discrimination in health insurance and employment on the basis of predictive genetic information. It will fully protect the privacy of genetic information. How long does it take to produce a mature pine cone? From the time young cones appear on the tree, it takes nearly three years for them to mature. The sporangia of a pine tree are located on scale-like sporophylls that are densely packed in structures called cones. Conifers, like all seed plants, are heterosporous. Meaning that male and female gametophytes develop from spores produced by separate cones. Small pollen cones produce microspores that develop into the male gametophytes or pollen grains. Larger, ovulate cones make megaspores that develop into female gametophytes. Each tree usually has both types of cones. This three-year process culminates in the production of male and female gametophytes. Brought together through pollination, and the formation of mature seeds from the fertilized ovules. The scales of ovulate cones then separate, and the seeds are scattered by wind. A seed that lands on a habitable place germinates, its embryo emerging as a pine seedling. How do trees grow out of rocks? If you didn't mow your lawn for a whole summer, eventually your lawn would become a grassy meadow. The change in community structure observed over time is known as ecological succession. When the succession begins in an area that is previously unoccupied or unchanged by other species. The process is known as primary succession. While the tree cannot actually grow out of bare rock. It can begin to grow from small amounts of soil and debris that collect in pockets of the rock. Over time the tree may grow well enough to send roots into the rock itself. Causing the rock to split and making it appear that the tree has sprung from within the rock instead of from its surface. Why can fossils be misleading? The fossil record is biased toward organisms who were very common. Who may have had hard shells or bony structures, and whose species lasted a long time. Therefore, it does not give us a full picture of what species may have been active. In the evolutionary past, fossils are also unlikely to record soft structure. Changes such as an increase in muscle mass or the development of new organ systems. What is the purpose of rhizoids? Rhizoids are a characteristic feature of mosses, liverworts, and hornworts. Rhizoids are slender, usually colorless projections that consist of a single cell or a few cells. 
They serve to anchor mosses, liverworts, and hornworts to their substrate and absorb water. What are trichomes? Trichomes are hair-like outgrowths of the plant epidermis. They are often found on stems, leaves. Woolly or fuzzy leaves are covered by trichomes, and reproductive organs. What is a climax community? Terrestrial communities of organisms move through a series of stages from bare earth or rock to forests of mature trees. This last stage is described as the climax because it is thought that if left undisturbed, communities can remain in this stage in perpetuity. However, more recent studies suggest that climax may be only one part of a continuous cycle of successional stages in these communities. Do viruses contain both DNA and RNA? Viruses have either DNA or RNA as their genomic material, whereas cells including bacteria have both. How do bacteria survive without nutrients? When a population of bacteria loses its food supply, many bacteria dehydrate. During this process bacteria produce a thick, tough spore coat. As spores, bacteria are able to rest for long periods of time. When conditions become favorable, the spores become active again. The bacteria absorb water, break down their thick, tough spore coats, and begin to form new cell walls. What is nuclear magnetic resonance? Nuclear magnetic resonance, NMR, is a process in which the nuclei of certain atoms absorb energy from an external magnetic field. Scientists use NMR spectroscopy to identify unknown compounds, check for impurities, and study the shapes of molecules. They use the knowledge that different atoms will absorb electromagnetic energy at slightly different frequencies. What are some examples of polygenic inheritance? Phenotypes of a given trait that are controlled by more than one gene are described as having polygenic inheritance. Examples of polygenic inheritance in humans include height, weight, skin color, and intelligence. Some congenital malformations, birth defects, like clubfoot, cleft palate, 
or neural tube defects are also the result of multiple gene interactions. How did scientists decide that DNA was the genetic material for all cellular organisms? The proof that the material basis for a gene is DNA came from the work of Oswald T. Avery, 1877 to 1955, Colin M. McLeod, 1909 to 1972, and Mocklin McCarty, 1911. In a paper published in 1944, this group of scientists followed the work of Griffith in order to discover what causes non-lethal bacteria to transform to a lethal strain. Using specific enzymes, all parts of the five, lethal, bacteria were degraded. Including the sugar-like coat, the proteins, and the RNA. The degradation of these substances by enzymes did not affect the transformation process. Finally, when the lethal bacteria were exposed to DNase, an enzyme that destroys DNA, all transformation activity ceased. The transforming factor was DNA. What is a molecule? Molecules are made of specific combinations of atoms. For example, carbon dioxide is made of one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. Water is made of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom, and the atoms are joined by chemical bonds. Complex molecules such as starch may have hundreds of participating atoms linked in a specific pattern. In the home setting, does the use of antibacterial soap reduce the risk of infection? Research has uncovered little evidence to support claims that the use of antibacterial soap in a domestic setting reduces the risk of infection or prevents infections. These residue-producing antibacterials help control the spread of infection in healthcare settings, such as hospitals and nursing homes. What disease is caused by protists of the genus Plasmodium? The sporozoan plasmodium causes malaria. An individual of the genus plasmodium enters the human body through a bite of a mosquito of the genus Anopheles that has been infected by the protist. What is the name of the seal like animal in Florida? The West Indian manatee, Trechus manatus, in the winter, moves to more temperate parts of Florida, such as the warm headwaters of the Crystal and Homosassa. 271 rivers in central Florida or the tropical waters of southern Florida. When the air temperature rises to 50 degrees Fahrenheit 10 degrees Celsius.
it will wander back along the Gulf Coast and up the Atlantic Coast as far as Virginia. Long-range offshore migrations to the coast of Guiana and South America have been documented. In 1983, when the population of manatees in Florida was reduced to several thousand. The state gave it legal protection from being hunted or commercially exploited. However, many animals continue to be killed or injured by the encroachment of humans. Entrapment in locks and dams, collisions with barges and power boat propellers. And so on cause at least 30% of manatee deaths, which total 125 to 130 annually. How does the use of antibiotics in animal feed promote animal growth? Farmers introduced the use of antibiotics to animal feed more than 40 years ago. The main reason for antibiotic use was, and continues to be, to keep the animals healthy. Animals are often kept closely together in pens. A condition that promotes the spread of bacterial infections. The use of antibiotics inhibited the incidence and spread of infection among livestock. An unplanned side effect of this treatment was accelerated animal growth. Scientists believe antibiotics suppress the intestinal bacteria Clostridium perfringens, which produces toxins that may retard animal growth. After this discovery, farmers began to give their animals antibiotics to promote weight gain as well as to treat infection. What is a virus? A virus is an infectious, protein-coated fragment of DNA or RNA. Viruses replicate by invading host cells and taking over the cell's machinery for DNA replication. Viral particles can then break out of the cells, spreading disease. How is chromatography used to identify individual compounds? Chromatography is another technique used to separate mixtures into their individual components. All methods of chromatography share common characteristics. The process is based on the principle that different chemical compounds will stick to a solid surface or dissolve in a film of liquid, to different degrees. Chromatography involves a sample, or sample extract, being dissolved in a mobile phase, which may be a gas, a liquid, or a supercritical fluid. The mobile phase is then forced through an immobile, immiscible stationary phase. The phases are chosen such that components of the sample have differing solubilities in each phase. The least soluble component is separated first, and as the separation process continues, the components are separated by increasing solubility. Can human beings be cloned?
In theory, yes. There are, however, many technical obstacles to human cloning, as well as moral, ethical, philosophical, religious, and economic issues to be resolved before a human being could be cloned. At the present time most scientists would agree that cloning a human being is unsafe under current conditions. What is a microclimate? When you notice that the temperature forecast in your local media is consistently warmer or colder than that which occurs in your neighborhood, you have identified a microclimate. Light, temperature, and moisture may all vary from one area to another. Within a biome because of changes in altitude, vegetation, or other factors. What is the role of the male bee? Their job is to fertilize the new queens. What is the role of plasmids? Plasmids are small, circular molecules of DNA containing genetic information. They contain about 2% of the genetic information of a cell and are separate from chromosomes. Although plasmids are not essential to the life of a bacterium, they determine a cell's resistance to antibiotics, commonly referred to as the R factor or resistance factor. Certain plasmids allow the transfer of genetic material, which is essential in genetic engineering. What plants produce essential oils that are commonly used in aromatherapy? Aromatherapy is a holistic approach to healing using essential oils extracted from plants. Holistic medicine looks at the health of the whole individual. And treatments emphasize the connection of mind, body, and spirit. The term aromatherapy was first used by René Gattafossi, a French perfume chemist. He discovered the healing powers of lavender oil following a laboratory accident during which he burned his hand. Gattafossi began to investigate the properties of lavender oil and other essential oils and published a book on plant extracts. During aromatherapy treatments, essential oils are absorbed through breath or the pores of the skin. This process triggers certain physiological responses. How is the gender of alligator embryos determined? The gender of an alligator is determined by the temperature at which the eggs are incubated. High temperatures of 90 degrees to 93 degrees Fahrenheit, 32 degrees to 34 degrees Celsius, result in males. Low temperatures of 82 degrees to 86 degrees Fahrenheit, 28 degrees to 30 degrees Celsius, yield females.
This determination takes place during the second and third week of the two-month incubation. Further temperature fluctuations before or after this time do not alter the gender of the young. The heat from the decaying matter on top of the nest incubates the eggs. What is the difference between a reptile and an amphibian? Reptiles are clad in scales, shields, or plates, and their toes have claws. Amphibians have moist, glandular skins, and their toes lack claws. Reptile eggs have a thick, hard, or parchment-like shell that protects the developing embryo from moisture loss, even on dry land. The eggs of amphibians lack this protective outer covering and are always laid in water or in damp places. Young reptiles are miniature replicas of their parents in General appearance if not always in coloration and pattern. Juvenile amphibians pass through a larval, usually aquatic, stage before they metamorphose, change in form and structure, into the adult form. Reptiles include alligators, crocodiles, turtles, and snakes. Amphibians include salamanders, toads, and frogs. The total amount of waste is distributed as follows. How critical is the problem of landfills in the United States? Landfilling has been an essential component of waste management for several decades. In 1960, 62% of all garbage was sent to landfills, and by 1980 the figure had risen to 81%. By 1990, 84% of the 269 million tons of municipal Solid waste that was generated was sent to landfills. An increased awareness of the benefits of recycling has brought a decline in the actual number of landfills from 4,482 in 1995 to 2. 142 in 2000 as well as a decrease in the amount of municipal solid waste that is sent to landfills. Figures for 2000 indicate that only 60% of the municipal solid waste generated was sent to landfills. The total amount of recycled waste increased from 8% to 33% between 1990 and 2000. What is microscopic autoradiography? Microscopic autoradiography is a technique used to localize radioactive molecules within cells. It utilizes photographic emulsion to determine where a specific radioactive compound is located within a cell at the time the cell is fixed and sectioned for microscopy. What are the three main types of skeletal systems? The three main types of skeletal systems are hydrostatic skeleton, exoskeleton, and endoskeleton. 
A hydrostatic skeleton consists of fluid under pressure. This type of skeletal system is most common in soft, flexible animals such as hydras, planarians, and earthworms and other segmented worms. Hydras and planarians have a fluid filled gastrovascular cavity. The body cavity, or chylome, of an earthworm is also fluid filled. Many aquatic and certain terrestrial animals have an exoskeleton. The exoskeleton is rigid and hard. Mollusks have an exoskeleton made of calcium carbonate. It grows with the animal during its entire lifetime. Another type of exoskeleton common among insects and arthropods is made from chitin. Chitin is a strong flexible nitrogenous polysaccharide. While it provides excellent protection and allows for a large variety of movements. It does not grow with the animal. When an animal outgrows its skeleton. It must shed its skeleton and replace it with a larger one in a process known as molding. An endoskeleton consists of bone and cartilage and grows with the animal throughout its life. It stores calcium salts and blood cells and consists of hard or leathery. Supporting elements situated among the soft tissues of an animal. Although most common among vertebrates, certain invertebrates such as sponges, sea stars, sea urchins, and other echinoderms have an endoskeleton of hard plates beneath their skin. This type of skeletal system allows for a wider range of movement than do the other two. What is gene redundancy? Gene redundancy refers to having multiple copies of the same gene. This assures that essential genes that are required in large amounts, like those for ribosomal RNA, rRNA, can be transcribed at multiple sites. In addition, gene redundancy provides for a source of gene sequences that can be modified by natural selection without immediately destroying the organism. In what way can forest fires be good for the environment? Wildfires are critical to maintaining the integrity of forest and grassland ecosystems. Forest and grass fires usually started by lightning, act as an ecologically renewing force by creating necessary conditions for plant germination and continued healthy growth to occur. The primary goal of fire management is to simulate the revitalizing aspects of natural fire cycles. Fire management also attempts to prevent large catastrophic wildfires from occurring by removing accumulated debris from forests. Seen throughout the American West every summer, these extremely intense fires are caused primarily by decades of fire suppression which has allowed heavy fuels accumulated debris to build up. Ironically, by attempting to prevent natural fires, humans have only increased their prevalence. How has DNA become commercialized?
DNA has been extensively commercialized in its applications to plant biotechnology. Genetically modified organisms, gene therapy, gene patents, and applications to forensic science. DNA jewelry, artwork, and apparel can be purchased. Music CDs have been created based on DNA sequences. Why is Mendel's work disputed? There are some scientists who feel that Mendel's work is too perfect to be accurate. Even though the validity of his conclusions are not in doubt. A closer look at Mendel's work suggests that he may not have reported the inheritance of traits that did not show independent assortment, and thus he may have skewed some of his data. A British statistician and population geneticist, R. A. Fisher, 1890-1962, pointed out in 1936 that Mendel's data fit the expected ratios much closer than chance alone would indicate. However, Mendel's published data is comparable to the work of others in his field. And his conclusions are still accepted as part of the core of genetics. What is cell culture? Cell culture is the cultivation of cells, outside the body, from a multicellular organism. This technique is very important to biotechnology processes because most research programs depend on the ability to grow cells outside the parent animal. Cells grown in culture usually require very special conditions, e. G, specific pH, temperature, nutrients, and growth factors. Cells can be grown in a variety of containers, ranging from a simple petri dish to large-scale cultures in roller bottles. Which are bottles that are rolled gently to keep culture medium flowing over the cells. What are the advantages of seed dormancy? The time during which a seed is dormant. When growth and development do not occur, allows for the dispersal of seeds. The plant can send its seeds into new environments. Dormancy assures survival of the plant since germination does not occur until conditions are favorable for plant growth. What is dietary fiber? Dietary fiber is a type of carbohydrate that cannot be broken down by digestive enzymes. Because of this, the fiber passes through the digestive tract more quickly, aiding in elimination. The term dietary fiber includes the cellulose found in plant cell walls and the chitin that makes up the support tissues of fungi, mushrooms, crustaceans, and insects. How much electricity does an electric eel generate?
an electric eel, Electrophorus electricus, has current producing organs made up of electric plates. Modified muscle cells, on both sides of its vertebral column running almost its entire body length. The charge on the average of 350 volts. But as great as 550 volts is released by the central nervous system. The shock consists of 4 to 8 separate charges. Each of which lasts only 2 to 3 thousandths of a second. These shocks, used as a defense mechanism, can be repeated up to 150 times per hour without any visible fatigue to the eel. The most powerful electric eel, found in the rivers of Brazil, Colombia, Venezuela, and Peru, produces a shock of 400 to 650 volts. What is meant by common origin? The term common origin refers to the shared ancestors of the Darwin-Wallace theory. It explains the commonality we see among different species of birds, for example. Blue jays, starlings, sparrows, and other birds share traits like beaks, wings, and general body structure that are of common origin. When was a chemical disinfectant first used during a surgical procedure? The use of a chemical disinfectant during a surgical procedure was first documented at the Glasgow Royal Infirmary in March 1865. Before surgery on a patient, Joseph Lister, 1827-1912 Sprayed the air with a fine mist of the phenol carbolic acid and soaked his surgical instruments in a carbolic acid solution. Although the patient later died, Lister continued his experiments. In an 1867 article in The Lancet, it was reported that Lister's postoperative surgery mortality rate dropped from 45% to 9% after he started to use chemical disinfectants in operative settings. What slime mold serves as a model organism in developmental biology? Dictyostelium discoidium has been studied as a model for the developmental biology of complex organisms. Under optimum conditions, this organism lives as individual, amoeboid cells. When food is scarce, the cells stream together into a moving mass, resembling a slug. That differentiates into a stalk with a spore-bearing body at its top. This structure releases spores that can grow into a new amoeboid cell. The development from identical, free-living cells to a multicellular organism simulates many of the properties of more complex and complicated organisms. What is the dicaryotic phase of fungal life cycles? The dicaryotic phase of the fungal life cycle is unique. 
During this unusual phase, which is common in many species of fungi, cells contain two distinct nuclei. These two nuclei divide simultaneously as the mycelium grows. Growth continues until fusion occurs during karyogamy. What is a trophic level? A trophic level represents a step in the dynamics of energy flow through an ecosystem. The first trophic level is made up of the producers. Those within the ecosystem that harvest energy from an outside source like the sun. Or deep sea thermal vents, and stabilize or fix it so that it remains in the system. The second level would comprise those who consume the producers, also known as the primary consumers. The next level would contain the secondary consumers, those who consume the primary consumers, and so on. Because of the limited amount of energy available to each level. These trophic pyramids rarely rise above a third or fourth level of structure. R. Lindemann 1915-1942, was one of the first ecologists to refer to the trophic dynamics of ecosystems, doing so in 1942. What is Thomas Hunt Morgan's contribution to genetics? Thomas Hunt Morgan, 1866-1945, won the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. In 1933 for his discovery of the role played by chromosomes in heredity. He is perhaps most noted for his fly lab at Columbia University in New York. Where he collected Drosophila, fruit fly, mutants. Morgan studied fruit flies much in the same way that Mendel studied peas. He found that the inheritance of certain characteristics, such as eye color, was affected by the sex of the offspring. How far from shore do shark attacks occur? In a study of 570 shark attacks, it was found that most shark attacks occur near shore. These data are not surprising since most people who enter the water stay close to the shore. What is a trinucleotide repeat? Dispersed throughout the human genome are sequences of repetitive DNA. These repeats will have 1 to 6 nucleotides, base pairs. One type in particular, involving 3 repeating nucleotide pairs, is called a trinucleotide repeat. As DNA is copied and then transferred to a new generation. The number of repeated sets can increase and cause diseases. Why is DNA important?
DNA is the chemical inside the nucleus of a cell that carries the genetic instructions for making living organisms. What is the most famous roundworm? One soil nematode, Sonorabditus elegans, is widely cultured and has become a model research organism in developmental biology. The study of this animal was begun in 1963 by Sidney Brenner. 1927 who received the Nobel Prize in physiology or medicine in 2002 the species normally lives in soil but is easily grown in the laboratory in petri dishes it is only about 0.06 in 1.5 millimeters long has a simple Transparent body consisting of only 959 cells, and grows from zygote to mature adult in only three and a half days. The genome, genetic material, of C. Elegans, consisting of 14,000 genes, was the first animal genome to be completely mapped and sequenced. The small transparent body of this nematode allows researchers to locate cells in which a specific developmentally important gene is active. These cells show up as bright green spots in a photograph because they have been genetically engineered to produce a green fluorescent protein known as GFP. The complete wiring diagram of its nervous system is known, including all the neurons and all connections between them. Much of the knowledge of nematode genetics and development gained from the study of C. Elegans is transferable to the study of other animals. Where are bacteria found? Bacteria inhabit every place on Earth including places where no other organism can survive. Bacteria have been detected as high as 20 miles 32 kilometers above the earth and 7 miles 11 kilometers deep in the waters of the Pacific Ocean. They are found in extreme environments, such as the Arctic tundra, boiling hot springs, and our bodies. How fast does a snail move? Many snails move at a speed of less than 3 in, 8 centimeters, per minute. This means that if a snail did not stop to rest or eat, it could travel 16 feet 4.8 meters per hour. What does the term umwelt refer to with regard to animal behavior? Umwelt was first used by Jacob von Juxgel, 1864-1944, to describe the part of its environment that an animal can actually perceive with its sense organs and nervous system. Animals display this concept in the wild, but the same behavior can be seen with domestic animals. For example, if a stranger comes into your house and tries to pet your dog, this may be perceived as a threat within the dog's umwelt. 
The practical side of this is that you should be aware of your pet's umwelt when introducing it to new experiences and people. Are all genes in a genome used by an organism? No. All genes are not used by an organism all the time. Since protein synthesis is an energy intensive cellular process, proteins are not produced unless they are needed for a specific cell function. For example, before a human has reached adult height, Cells are continually producing human growth hormone, a protein that encourages bone and muscle growth. However, at a certain age, which varies by individual, the gene will become dormant and will no longer produce growth hormone. What is unusual about the natural distribution of lichens? Lichens are widespread because they are able to live and grow in some of the harshest environments on Earth. They occur from arid desert regions to the Arctic, they grow on bare soil. Tree trunks, rocks, fence posts, and alpine peaks all over the world. Some lichens are so tiny that they are almost invisible to the naked eye. Others, like reindeer mosses, may cover acres of land with ankle deep growth. One species of the genus Verrucaria grows underwater as a submerged marine lichen. Lichens are often the first inhabitants of newly exposed rocky areas. In Antarctica there are more than 350 species of lichens but only two species of plants. How is biodiversity measured? Biodiversity or biological diversity refers to the breadth of species represented within ecosystems or even on Earth as a whole. Biodiversity may be defined at three levels, genetic diversity, species diversity, and ecosystem diversity. Genetic diversity refers to the variety of genes found within a population or between populations of the same species. Species diversity may also be described as species richness. How do conservationists predict whether a species will become extinct? Conservation biologists use population viability analysis, PVA, a relatively new method to predict the viability of a species in a particular habitat. Computer modeling generates PVAs using life history data, genetic variability, and a population's response to environmental conditions especially disturbances to predict viability of a species. What is the alternation of generations in plants?
All plants exhibit an alternation of generations between diploid sporophytes and haploid gametophytes. Sporophytes produce haploid spores as a result of meiosis. The spores grow into multicellular, haploid individuals known as gametophytes. Spores are the first cells of the gametophyte generation. Gametophytes produce gametes as a result of mitosis. Male and female gametes fuse to form a zygote, which grows into a sporophyte. The zygote is the first cell of the following sporophyte generation. Do animals suffer from allergies? Veterinarians report that dogs and cats suffer from allergies. They may be allergic to food, insect bites, dust, household chemicals, or pollen. Instead of having runny noses and watery eyes, animals experience itchy skin conditions. Difficulty in breathing, or disruptions in the digestive tract. What is Hugo? Hugo, also known as the Human Genome Organization, is an international consortium created to coordinate the work of human geneticists around the world. Are there any natural predators of gypsy moth caterpillars? About 45 kinds of birds, squirrels, chipmunks, and white-footed mice eat this serious insect pest. Among the 13 imported natural enemies of the moth, two flies Compis luricincinata, a tachnid fly, and Sternius cutellata parasitize the caterpillar. Other parasites and various wasps have also been tried as controls. As well as spraying and male sterilization. How sensitive is the hearing of birds? In most species of birds the most important sense after sight is hearing. Birds' ears are close to their bodies and covered with feathers. However, the feathers covering the ears do not have barbules, which would obstruct sound. Ears of different heights allow the bird to locate of sound. Nocturnal raptors such as the great horned owl have a very well-developed sense of hearing in order to be able to capture their prey in total darkness. What is the relationship between metabolism and lifespan? Several studies have concluded that a program maintaining proportions of carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins, but reducing the consumption of calories, can increase longevity. However, these conclusions have only been demonstrated in tropical guppy fish and the worm Sonorabditis elegans. To date, 
there have been no large clinical studies that have demonstrated the value of this regimen for humans. What are RFLPs? RFLPs are restriction fragment length polymorphisms, which are variations in the short base sequences where restriction enzymes can cut DNA. By cutting two different DNA molecules with the same restriction enzyme, scientists can compare the lengths of the fragments, two identical molecules will have identical fragments. While two similar molecules may be largely alike, with perhaps a few differences in fragment size. These differences in restriction fragment lengths are called polymorphisms and are used in all types of DNA typing. What are the common types of slide preparations for investigation with a microscope? Commonly prepared slide preparations are whole mounts, smears, squashes, and sections. Smears, squashes, and sections are techniques used to make specimens thinner or smaller. Whole mounts are often used to examine an entire organism or specific organ structure in some detail. Smears are mostly prepared for bacteriological and blood specimens. Squashes are prepared to study chromosomes. Sections are prepared to examine tissues and cells. Do all cells use the same source of energy? Most cells use glucose as their primary energy source. But lipids and proteins can be broken down to provide energy as well. Lipids are catabolized to their monomers, glycerol and fatty acids which are then metabolized within the pathways of cell respiration. Proteins are also catabolized to their amino acid building blocks, which are then fed into the process of glycolysis, also known as the Krebs cycle. Are humans the only animals who can think? Before one can answer this question, one must define what is meant by thought. What are functional groups? There are numerous patterns of atoms and bonds that are found frequently in organic compounds. These configurations of atoms are called functional groups, as each has specific, predictable properties. For example, an amino acid contains both an amino and a carboxyl, while alcohols all have a hydroxyl group. This group results in the solubility of alcohol in water. How are biological rhythms correlated with animal behavior?
A biological rhythm is a biological event or function that is repeated over time in the same order and with a specific interval. Biological rhythms are evident when an animal's behavior can be directly correlated to certain environmental features that occur at a distinct frequency. Biological clocks control animal behaviors such as when migration, mating, sleep, hibernation, and eating occur. What is the Red Queen hypothesis? This hypothesis, also called the law of constant extinction, is named after the Red Queen in Lewis Carroll's Through the Looking Glass, who said now here. You see, it takes all the running you can do to keep in the same place. The idea is that an evolutionary advance by one species represents a deterioration of the environment for all remaining species. This places pressure on those species to advance just to keep up. How does social deprivation affect animals? The effect of a lack of parental care on the social development of young monkeys was studied by Harry Harlow. 1905-1981, and his colleagues beginning in the 1950s. In a now classic experiment, Harlow was able to show that the mother-infant bond was so important to young rhesus monkeys that the infants preferred a soft cuddly fake. Mother to a fake mother built from wire even if it had a nursing bottle attached. Depending on the age of the monkey and the duration of the treatment. Total isolation, isolation with fake mother, and so on. Monkeys in these studies later exhibited a range of behavioral deficits including rocking and swaying, poor maternal behavior and a failure in understanding communication signals from other monkeys. Where are ribosomes found in a cell? Ribosomes are found in the cytoplasm of both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. As well as in the matrix of mitochondria and the stroma of chloroplasts. In eukaryotic cytoplasm, ribosomes are found in the cystal. And are bound to the endoplasmic reticulum as well as the outer membrane of the nuclear envelope. What wood is used to make baseball bats? Wooden baseball bats are made from white ash, Fraxinus americana. This wood is ideal for producing bats because it is tough and light. And can thus help drive a ball a great distance. A tree roughly 75 years old and 15.7 in, 40 centimeters, in diameter can produce approximately 60 bats. How do fossils form?
Fossils form rarely, since an organism is usually consumed totally or scattered by scavengers after death. If the structures remain intact, fossils can be preserved in amber, hardened tree sap. Siberian permafrost, dry caves, or rock. Rock fossils are the most common. In order to form a rock fossil, three things must happen, one, the organism must be buried in sediment, two, the hard structures must mineralize. And three, the sediment surrounding the fossil must harden and become rock. Many rock fossils either erode before they can be discovered. Or they remain in places inaccessible to scientists. What is the function of the skeletal system? The skeletal system is a multifunctional system. The skeletal system provides support, allows an animal to move, and protects the internal organs and soft parts of an animal's body. Why was Stewart successful? Like previous investigators, he supplied the cultured cells with sugars, minerals, and vitamins. In addition, he also added a new ingredient, coconut milk. Coconut milk contains, among other things, a substance that induces cell division. Subsequent research identified this material as cytokinins. A group of plant hormones, growth regulators, that stimulate cell division. Once the cultured cells began dividing, they were transplanted on agar media. Where they formed roots and shoots and developed into plants. How do animals and people identify smells? The sense of smell allows animals and humans as well as other organisms to identify food, mates, and predators. This sense also provides sensory pleasure. G. Flowers and warnings of danger, example chemical dangers. There are specialized receptor cells in the nose that have proteins that bind chemical odor ants and cause the receptor cells to send electrical signals to the olfactory bulb of the brain. Cells in the olfactory bulb relay this information to olfactory. Areas of the forebrain to generate perception of smells. How does asexual reproduction differ from sexual reproduction? Asexual reproduction produces offspring with the exact genetic material of the parent. Only one individual is needed to produce offspring via asexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction produces offspring by the fusion of two gametes. Haploid cells, to form one zygote, diploid cell. The male gamete is the sperm, and the female gamete is the egg. 